What's up, fellas? We're doing some diesel fuel testing today on this waste oil burner nozzle. In this test, we're going to take a look at the 2D laminated nozzle on diesel fuel. This is the new nozzle design. This is just a test nozzle. All right, fellas, let's go for a little walk here. Now, the first test or the first earmark of a good oil burner nozzle is how easy is it to light. And as you've seen there, there was literally no struggle. This was a cold start, fired right up. A little out of alignment there. Notice how tilting that burner nozzle changes the orientation of the flame. That's something that definitely needs to be done after the thing's been put together and fired up. I do that to every burner when I'm running one. And this thing is working out great, however, that phenomenon that we observed where subsonic flow causes a predominant flow to the right or left side of the nozzle. It doesn't really show itself prominent on high flow of fuel, but low flow of fuel, look at this, or high flow air, I should say. Anytime the fuel entrainment is low, you get that predominant right side flame. Here's another look at me adjusting the angle of the flame to make it come out of the burner straight. Very cool nozzle. We can fix this geometry issue. This is not a showstopper at all. I am still just in awe of the simplicity of this nozzle and just how awesome it is. Making a wide flame has so many applications, you guys. Spreading out that thermal energy into a flat fan is definitely gonna have some, some benefits in a lot of situations. And we could take this to a whole other level. Imagine if we had a radial array of these things, like an old hawk burner or whatever it's called or something like that. But, uh, man, that is just so cool. Check that out. Definitely liking the, the atomization pattern. Look at that nozzle. Doing a real good job of uh, atomizing that fuel. Now, this thing does not pump fuel as effectively as my other nozzles. We have to have a fuel pump to get this kind of performance because the size of the Ventura and of the convergent divergent nozzle is so small that we are going past the choke point. And when you exceed the choke point, the Ventura becomes pressurized and can no longer pump fuel. Check that out. That's a real nice high velocity flame right there. We're running that combustor red hot and um, almost sunlight right there. So, pretty good that we can see that, that we're getting that hot. That's actually what I like to call a pre-burner these days. I don't call that a combustion chamber anymore because most of the combustion takes place externally. So, it's kind of a pre-burner that just maintains ignition. Um, this is the, the, uh, the high flame setting. I don't know what word I was looking for there. High fire setting, that's what it was. They, they call that high fire setting. This is kind of the optimum setting of the highest output I could get there with a, a medium mix of air and fuel. Pretty awesome nozzle, dude. I'm like, I'm stuck on this thing. I've got so many different design ideas we could do with this. We could have a fuel port on both sides of that lamination. All right, guys, so I don't think the Del Laval nozzle is a good geometry for this 2D laminated waste oil burner nozzle. We're going to go with a different internal geometry, but we're going to alter the interior geometry to stay in line with conventional nozzle design. This is kind of veered away from the norm here. Uh, because we're subsonic, we can't use the Delaval nozzle. Uh, the Delaval no nozzle. I can't say that guy's name. It's like a skunk sitting on a stump. So that's pretty much just wanted to see this thing on fuel. It, it's certain settings. The fuel entrainment does kind of defuse the side flare nozzle um, phenomenon. But at high settings, we can clearly see the flame favored that side of, side of the burner. So we're going to go ahead and redesign this bad boy and uh, have another look. But I can say that the basis or the fundamentals of this nozzle design are extraordinary. It's working out far better than my traditional dual nozzle setup that I would have had to have built for this particular burner. 
So I definitely like this. I might even do something that has an input duct on the bottom as well.